All right, hello everyone. Here we are, hole number eight we're setting up for. We use pretty standard bag here. We go back to a kingmaker ball. Now this is an interesting hole. Um, I do believe it's maybe a slight tailwind on this hole, just slightly, um, which really makes it challenging because you can actually kind of go aggressive here and actually get to the other side. This is probably the account that I'd want to do this on as well because of the extra top spin on the Epoch 7. And if I was to set up in these trees, for instance, catch a perfect ball and try to land up here with a berserker, um, you know, I, I, I'm thinking about just doing it. And I can use, you know, the berserker ball is still a free to play ball. And I've been trying to stick with those with this account. Um, I'm going to play pretty close to maybe one per ring in this situation down on this, you know, right around 13 rings here. And of course, everything that I can curl it. And let's just see how this goes. So, so far, so good. Um, and that's, you know, one of the reasons that I don't, uh, you know, this is definitely a reason that I kind of don't like this setup because I feel like not everybody's going to be able to potentially do this shot. Um, and if you have to lay up, um, you know, well, technically you won't have to lay up. But I feel like they're with the win that they set up here, it's a little bit advantageous towards a POC 6, a POC 7. Um, with that being said, you know, you will just want to, you have to be somewhat precise on that landing zone. This is still a risk reward shot. You know, if I was to miss that target completely, I'm going to take myself out of the hole. But uh, you can see the opportunity presented is you know for you to be able to get eagle here but here is kind of more or less what i was talking about you can see that it just kind of comes up short and this pitch is going to be nasty i mean it is going to be you know about 20 percent of guys are going to be able to put this in from there from where that from where my opponent is <clears throat> so what i'm going to do maybe just a little off the edge of the cup here there's going to be some wind effect. So, <clears throat> very, very little wind play, but you can see nice opportunity for a nice eagle. And as I mentioned, this is just going to be a dirty, phew, this is going to be a dirty pitch. If, if I was going for this one, I'd probably just go for the dunk, to be honest with you. Um, it's very, very tough to get the wind effect right here. So even if you were to set up here and try to do that top spin shot, uh, the guide is not going to be very accurate whatsoever because when you have a huge head uh, side wind like this, the guide changes so much, guys just don't realize it. And, you know, it's very, very tricky to get the ball going towards the hole. I'd be more inclined to play it kind of how my opponent is. As you can see, he's playing it a little bit tighter to the hole. However, you're going to have to consider so much wind effect that, you know, even with that great ball left, my opponent still missed right. Okay, so that pitch is going to just be brutal for guys. They're going to, you know, really have trouble getting the correct amount, um, especially down the slope as well. So, um, you know, good luck with that hole. Uh, hopefully you guys do have, you know, a POC 6, a POC 7, because that's just going to kind of show you kind of the advantage, I think, that they kind of set up with that wind. So, um I will catch you guys on the next one. I'll try to do something with a Thor's hammer. Maybe some, you know, you could probably do some kind of slice shot. However, it's going to be very, very risky uh, to a small landing zone like that, where it might be a lot tougher to pull off, but we'll probably try it, see what happens. So good luck with that one, and I'll catch you guys tonight on 9 to finish this thing up.